Hello there people, this is Bruce Cool on Intembruce here, back again with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Dev Pro, and I believe my completed... Hey, Surrendered? Serious? Uh, lost... Right... Hello again there people, this is Bruce and Nicole on in Tembrus here, back again with some Yu-Gi-Oh! Dev Pro, and I, I just have to play with my Locked Box of Industry deck again, I just have to. Such a fun deck to use, such a fun deck to use. Um, and already this is one of the better hands, like wow. Um, okay, set, set, and that is it. Shame I've got no Inferno Reckless Summon, but I'm sure that's fine, I'm sure that's fine. Oh, that was just perfect. So, so perfect. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, we'll have some of that, we'll have some of that. And again, now we'll see if he's got anything to get over 3,000 defense. I'm going to assume that's a no. Cool. No, we definitely don't want to change anything yet. Oh, and a second Trigodia. Okay, now this is going to be interesting. Um, hmm. Well, I'm definitely going to have to special summon. I, mean, I don't want to call it a horn because that just seems like a big waste. So let's go to Tiras. Okay, cool. Uh, battle phase. I won't go into Gaia from the Charger, just in case he's got like, I don't know, a, a Raikou or something like that. Oh, Pyramid Turtle, but then I'll get to destroy something at the end of my phase, so that's alright. What's he going to go for? Ooh, main phase 2. Pop. Never mind. <laughs> well, it's a valiant attempt there. Um, hmm. Should I set one more? I think I shall. In fact, uh, la, 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 la. get rid of Labyrinth Wall because I don't want to be drawing into those if I get an Inferno Reckless Sun or something like that. Reload? What kind of deck is this? Oh, um, yes please, activate, box of friends, <laughs> love that box of friends, yes please, and it is of course going to be Labyrinth Hall and we'll go for Millennium Shield, I was heavily tempted by um, the Hieratic Seal. Oh, lost connection, of course I would. Hello again there, people. Um, I guess we're just going to get on with it, really. I've made this instead of a match um, just a single duke, because it seems I'm not getting a lot of luck with uh, with um, two out of three matches, which is a shame. Big, big shame. Anyway, this hand, again, not so bad here. Box of Friends, Debris Dragon. But uh, it's... Just a shame that obviously he's going first. It's obviously not what I prefer. Okay. Oh, pop duality, that's quite nice. Hmm. Go on, let's see what we get with the pop. Is he going to allow it? Go on, chain maxi. You know you want to. No. Oh, 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 whoa. I guess it's going to be Max C. <laughs> wow, 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 eh? Okay. Set our good old friend of Box of Friends in fate. What have we got? MST. So it must be a Max C that he's got in his hand. It must be. Because you can't chain MST to itself, and obviously it was asking what it wanted to change it to. Ooh. 
Okay, is that another level four that is? So I am gonna activate that now. I mean, yes, there could have been, you know, he might not XYZ now. Oh, don't I get the effect? Is it one fire foundation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Labyrinth wall, Millennium Shield. And at least he won't get Bear's effect. Just gonna go for the, uh, the Tenki, is it? Can't be that many. Yep, of course it's Tinky. Okay, yep. Spirit, can't be a silver roller. I'm just going to something I don't want. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully he still goes for the XYZ. Obviously I want my draw. <laughs> Ah, uh, we'll see. I bet he's debating it. Oh, what's he going to go for? Oh, there is that XYZ. There we go. Oh, I'm a dire wolf. That's fine. I can still live with this, definitely. You win Lost Connection. Not having a lot of luck at all, guys. Hello there people, this is Bruce Be Cool on Intembrus here, back again with some Yu-Gi-Oh! Death Pro action, and this time another go at my Locked Box of Industry deck. Uh, this might be my last recording of it. Um, oh god, this is OCG rules this one, isn't it? Um, never mind, this could be very, very bad. Um, don't matter though, don't matter. Anyway, uh, this is actually up against uh, one of my longtime buddies here. Um, for some odd reason, all I can think of is his uh, their pro username now, but uh, oh, that's really annoying me now that I've forgotten his name. I do apologise, dude. <laughs> oh, that's going to bug me throughout this video now. It really, really is. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Light Swarm's fantastic. Okay, we'll see. Oh, Light Sworn Seal of Arakalcos. Do I get five up to attack? Once per turn. This card can't be destroyed by card effects. While you control two or more, uh, your opponent can't target your monsters below step around deck. So, did you always press some monsters you control? You can't press some monsters from extra deck. You can only attack the Seal of Arakalcos once per turn. Okay, this could be an interesting game, maybe. Oh, and that's just going to send it back. God damn it. Damn you, Light Swans! Okay, this could be pretty bad for me indeed. Oh, Maxi. I don't know why it was just held there in midair. Um, oh, Creature Swap. Another Pot of Duality. Hmm. I think we'll go for another Pot, actually. As nice as Compulse is, I'm going for the other pot. Alright, end phase. That's all I can really do. I'm hoping to just get the Trag out, and if you start special summoning crazy, then maxi it up, get a lot of attack for Trag, and yeah, go from there. Damn it, I forgot his Xbox name. I know his normal name's Ryan, I believe. It's been a while since we spoke, but... Uh, hold on, cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be... Uh, I'm trying to target one field spell card and two other cards and field destroy them. No. Hmm. Okay, this is going to hurt a lot. Okay, going to wait for that one other attack. Oh, this could be really, really awful, people. We'll see, though. Oh, actually, he could tribute that and destroy two cards, can't he? Oh, God, I'm an idiot. I even read that, like, just a moment ago. Um, well, that's an interesting little combo there, actually. Very nice. 
So light ray, light swarm, seal of our Halcos-ness. Well, then let's see what we can do. Oh, silent doom. Do I have... Oh, got bloody nothing in there, that's the problem. Okay, activate yet another pot of duality. Box of friends, Millennium Shield... Okay, he's got rid of Eren. So I'm hoping... I can get something good off. There's no point setting that. Okay, end phase. Because he's going to have to target one of his own cards now to blow up if he wants to use its effect. Oh god, these damn light rays. Um, nope, I'm fine. Let's set card to reveal that target, then return that target to either the top of the. Oh god damn. Okay, light rays are going to be slightly annoying here, I'm guessing. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I've got anything in the extra deck. Um, breakthrough skills could be nice. Hmm, instead of the rule decree. Yeah, we'll go for the breakthrough skills. Uh, let's launch an extra MST in there just for kicks. Actually, screw it. We'll do two MSTs, get rid of the Royal Decree. And should I do anything else, though? That is the question. Seeing as everything just blows up, so I might as well do things which have a response. Okay, yep, that's fine. Let's see, let's see. Oh, damn it, I chose first to go again, didn't I? I absolutely hate going first in these new OCG rules. And that's the other thing, this isn't even an OCG deck. What the hell am I doing, eh? Okay, Box of Friends, here we go. I've got the two Silent Dooms as well, that's quite nice. End phase. Oh damn, that seal of Arakalcus again. Of course. Thing is, I've got to beat him quickly because otherwise he's going to get a ton of lights in the graveyard. Simple as that. Oh, Lila. 2200 as well. what we're going to go for. He, is, he knows my deck with the box of friends. Oh, he's still going to go for it. Uh, it's going to have to be Labyrinth Ball Millennium Shield, as always. Okay, oh, Magic Cylinder. Judgment Dragon, and there's a second light in there as well. Tough one to think about. Okay, I'm gonna have to go for wind up Arsenal, just get rid of that back row. Let's activate that. Uh, get rid of Labyrinth Wall. Go on, what have we got? It's bound to activate something. Oh, MST. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm down with that. Oh, another magic cylinder. Okay, right. Now, I can't get him for game. 2200. Just really thinking about this now, people. Because I could do that, that. Oh! Okay. trying to think of how to finish him off in one turn, but I don't think it's going to happen. Yes, if I do that in Creature Swap, I can do 2200, 2600, so that's 48. Um, do a Foolish Burial for another one, maybe? Volcasaurus. Oh! 26, 22. Um, what did I say that was? 48 plus another 26. Oh, that's going to be so close. 
Screw it. We'll go for broke, guys. We'll go for broke. Um... Okay, so if I bung a Millennium Shield in there... Actually, screw it, we'll go for Elaborate Ball. Activate. This is going to get him down right to the cusp. That's the thing. Um, okay, and then we could even... No, I can't Volcosaurus that. Uh, not Volcosaurus, what am I talking about? You guys know what I mean. Um, King of Heavy Industry. Okay, blow that up. Ah, oh, that only does it for 1700 anyway. Okay, fine. Well, we'll just do a hell of a load of damage. How about that? Okay, attack. And attack there as well. Oh. This is quite something, people. This is quite something. If he's got that light ray diadolus guy, then this is game over. Oh, no. Joan. And that's going to get an extra attack boost, 26, so it can take out one of mine while destroying itself. Okay, cool. I think this is just about GG. Um, all summon. Go for that. We'll just be safe about it, shall we? Um, actually, no, hold up. I just want to go for the solid attack. Make sure I get him all out in one hit. Oh, wow, this is an interesting game, people. A very interesting game. Oh, I've just got him messaging me in the background. <laughs> It's, uh, he's called it the Seal the Light deck. <laughs> there we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's going to go first? Yep, okay, cool. I'm happy enough with that. Especially with his hand, really. <laughs> okay, Torrential Tribute is very nice. It's all about getting those lights in the graveyard, like, wow. Um, now, the annoying thing is, I can't do a lot. I actually cannot do a lot. I want to keep my star drawing. Really, really want to keep my star drawing. And in essence, I want to keep my torrential tribute to when he brings a light monster out. You know, one of the big beasties. Oh, we'll see what we can do here. we we'll see what we can do. Oh, no. I'll let you have that. Oh, pardon me. Okay, saving the draw, people. Saving the draw. Oh, god damn it. Okay. This is super risky, but I'm just going to end the phase again. No, fair enough. If this is game, then this is game, people. How many lights he got in there? One, two, three. Oh, charge light brigade. He's got more lights than I can count now. <laughs> so if he does at least a special summon, um, then I'm happy enough with that. Oh my god. Um, yep, get out of there. I am not having any of that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably got another way of getting that back, but wow, a new torrential tribute will be worth, um, well worth saving, you know. Okay. <sighs> Man, this is a tight game, really tight game. Very, very dangerous deck he's got, especially special summoning out all those bloody light monsters at once. Okay, now this might be a safe time to bring out Star Drawing. But again, I really need my searches like Box of Friends on Bow Wow, who I've increased to two, uh, Pot of Duality, and I haven't drawn any of it yet, which is uh, kind of frustrating. Okay, Star Drawing, you're going to have to come out. 
Oh, he's got something to stop him? No, okay. Probably an honest, but uh, no. Yeah, obviously, it, yeah, he's probably got an honest in his hand. Either that or a fit failure. Oh, something big. Light Ray Greffer. So then you can discard one light monster, banish one light monster from your deck. Oh my god! Okay, this is bad. <laughs> really need oh, one for one would be super handy right now because then I could get rid of any of these debris dragging it and just go from there really. Oh seriously? This ain't good. One of the worst hands I've had. Okay, I'm gonna have to set that. Uh, spell trap code, you can one warrior type monster from Gaylord. Negate the activation, if you do destroy it, all face up monsters you control must be warrior type to activate, which result in this effect. Okay, right, well, if I can hold out for one more turn, then great. Because, I mean, if I draw into another Millennium Wall Labyrinth Shield, then that's just bad luck. Just drawing into the monsters, and that's that. Oh, good! Damage! <laughs> or, no damage? Hold on, before I do the smiley face. No! <laughs> I honestly thought I was going to damage. Never mind. Okay. No walls. <laughs> Alright, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Foolish burial. Nah, this game is over. Think it's GG, which is a huge, huge shame. Huge, 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 huge shame. Oh, what? He can negate that? Oh, spill or trap card. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yeah, that was a good game. That was a good game. Even though this is a loss, um, it, it's just one of those things, you know. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, it's just the risky run when running all tribute decks, you know. I'm not saying it's all tribute, but you get what I mean. <laughs> anyway, as always guys, pop your comments and thoughts in the section below, let me know what you thought of it all, and until next time people, you take care, and I will see you again soon.